starting now. Ready? One, Ready. Two, three. Hello, everybody, Hello. and welcome to Taco Tuesday with Jennifer Mashumba. I'm your host, and Teresa Sudow. Yeah, all the way from Colorado. All the way from Colorado. She's beating out the snow and just being with us today. And um, we're here to talk about music, the holidays, whatever comes up. We're just going to chill, engage with the audience. Hi, Snowbird. There you go, Snowbird. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Let me get this so I can see all the comments. Okay, cool. Oh, Snowbird's in Colorado, too. too. Cool. Did you get a lot of snow? Where I'm at, we got, uh, I don't know, maybe like five or six inches. That's just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm yeah. from Massachusetts, and I know it gets crazy with snow up yeah. there. The thing yeah. is, here, though, in Colorado, it melts fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like a little known, unknown fact. Like, yeah. even if it snows, you can still walk around and drive around quite a bit. Okay, well, it's good to know if I ever get my license and live in Colorado. In and the winter time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, okay, so we wanted to talk about, first of all, we have questions that we want to ask the audience and each other, right? Mm -hmm. Because we yep. want the audience to be a big part of this. So, um we are going to, I'm going to ask Teresa a question. This is so awkward. <laughs> You're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> Why is it so different? Okay. I, Teresa, I what is your funny. favorite holiday tradition? Mine is probably um, decorating sugar cookies. So, yeah. yeah I didn't same. think of that. What? <laughs> You just stole my answer that I didn't have. <laughs> You're welcome. But yeah, so we like bake a whole bunch of um, sugar cookies and then make a bunch of different colored icings and then a whole bunch of sprinkles. And it's a lot of fun. And so sugary delicious. It is. I eat so much icing. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. that That is my favorite holiday tr tradition now. I can't even compete with that. I don't know. But what, but what were your, what were you gonna say before I said it? I would probably say um, when I was a kid, mm -hmm. the fireplace. We always had like a really nice fire going in the fireplace, Ooh, and we had like nice. records playing, and it was nice. That does sound really nice. Yeah. And like you, you go to bed smelling like straight, like smoke wood, like you are smoked pork ribs or something. But um, it was, it was great to sit by the fire. Hi, Anastasia. Hello. You guys see me doing this is because my eyes are worse and worse <laughs> and doing the old lady thing now. So. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> Just admitting it. Yeah. Um, oh, I like this question. If you could live in a holiday movie, which one would you choose? You go first this time. Because I don't want to steal yours. I know. I Okay. Yeah, go. Elf. <laughs> I stole it. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or any Lifetime Christmas movie. Because those towns are perfect. And the people are so nice. And everything's perfect. So any Lifetime Christmas movie or Elf. Yeah. I was... Elf is the first thing that came to mind because yeah. it's in New York and yeah. I feel like it wouldn't be too different from from the real world. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to meet Buddy really bad. I know. He's... And like all the little animated animals in the beginning. Yeah, the raccoon mm -hmm. that he gives a hug. Yes. And the like narwhal. Like the the narwhal. Hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's really funny. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we're like two for two. Two for two. All right. Um, what, are you, the best. <laughs> what are you looking forward to this holiday season? Yes, Elf is the best, Snowbird. Thank you for agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think I think my holiday tradition kind of covers it, but cookies and just like the food and yeah. the people the people that make me the food. <laughs> Yeah, I would be seeing my my mom and my family because I'm flying home and seeing everybody. Yeah, and I think I'm going to ask her to get 
sugar cookie dough and yeah. decorations because now yeah. I need to do that. You do. It's yeah. the most fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna ask her to do that. So it'll when, be good. When do you fly back? Um, I'm not sure. I'm supposed to talk to my brother about it today. I mm. fly back like probably near Christmas, like a few days before actual Christmas Day. Yeah, it's like on the weekend, so it's a little weird. Yeah, so I'll probably fly home like Wednesday or Thursday and then stay there for like a week. Mm -hmm. And speaking of holidays and winter, Teresa, I love your new release, Winter Wonderland cover. Thank you. It um, was a lot yeah. of fun to make. It's so good. If you, if you guys like this song, you know, walking in and went to Wonderland, well, Teresa did a like a remix, and it's awesome. But it still pays tribute to the original. It's not like she like made a mess of the original song. Like some people, when they do a cover, it's like, is that even that song? But yours is just uh, beautiful, and I love it. Thank so, you. Yeah, I've been uh, getting a lot of comments about that. They're like, it's a great twist on a classic. Yeah. On the class, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it so, is, like, the, the producer I worked with, Aaron Daniels, we just tried to have a lot of fun while we yeah. made it. So it came across as, as fun as well. Yeah, it was really fun. And it, I added to my holiday playlist, so it will be yeah. listened to. And Thank if you guys you. want to hear it, I think I can put – what's the what's the link to it? Um, Do you want I the YouTube? It. I have it on my on my um computer. Oh, look at this! I have it. Control Yay. right click, copy. I'm gonna put the link to her Winter Wonderland in the chat. Thank you. There it is. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I wanna a, check it out. A lyric video on the YouTube too. That would be cool. Yeah, I think that's on the link. I just wrote a song. Um, waiting to go live today. And I was like, I'm just going to have fun. I'm not going to try too hard. I'm just going to, like, do what I want and have fun. And it's called High School. And um, it goes, wait, oh, the lyrics go like this. But I only really like the chorus so far because I can't figure out how to produce the rest of it. So okay. um, the chorus goes, High school wasn't everything I wanted. My memories are haunted about walking down the halls. High school wasn't something that I flaunted. I kept my head down, don't want to stand out. High school. And it's going to be like a little maybe Instagram thing or something. Um, I love that. You can do I'm, some really fun harmonies on the high school at the end. Good idea, because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> and then the, the um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just figuring it out and having fun, like really having fun with it and not trying too hard to see what happens. I played electric yeah. guitar. I'm like terrible at electric guitar, but I wanted it to sound like an old 90s, like, you know, like an All-American Rejects or something. I love All-American Rejects. Yeah, yeah, just like fun and like not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you now on like all of your new songs. Did you play drums? I want to, I need to get a, I guess I could use just like one mic for now and just mm -hmm. get like a rough drum sound. I need to get like a, a miking set for the different, you know, toms and stuff. But I think I could just yeah. mic the mic, one, two mics, one on each side and get yeah. a good sound. I really do need to do a loop like. Yeah. There's my drums right there. I love them so much. Oh my gosh, you already have upgraded them. That's amazing. Yeah, I got a um, new symbol. All right. Did a lot of wheeling and dealing and trading in and stuff like that. On the Facebook market? Yeah, on the Facebook market. <laughs> so. Do you have, okay, my next question. Do you have like hearing protection? Yes, I got some um, over ears. I think my mom got me some special ones for drums yeah. and you can like select how much you want. Oh, cool. um, I think she got them for me for Christmas. And also Lemonade's getting some too. What? That's yeah, they have, they have dog hearing protection. And it has like a little chin strap. And it has the earmuffs. That's so cute. I saw yeah. I saw Lemonade just like chilling in one of your drum videos. I'm like, wow. Yeah, she's just in front of the drums. I'm like, dude, I can't even do that. And you're a dog. 
Yeah. So I'm scared for her hearing. So I really need to get something to protect her ears because she just doesn't care. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. She just loves your music. She does, except when I play the violin or oh. I'm st- those high notes, really. They bother me too, but Lemonade, they, they bother me too. <laughs> <laughs> Did you answer what you're looking forward to the most? Yes, was going home. Okay. Both oh, cool. show. Both show. Hi, Kathy Corns. Hi. Hello. Good to see you again, too. Thank you for being here. All right. So, um, we have a little bit what you're looking forward to. What's your favorite childhood memory of the holiday? Okay. Okay. Mine is like a specific. A specific memory or like a recurring tradition? I guess it doesn't matter. It's up to us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Katie Powers. We love you too. Hey. <laughs> um, I know there was some. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay, okay. So one morning I woke up on Christmas morning. It was like early. And my mom would always save like a present that she would put out like while I was asleep like from Santa or whatever. So yeah. like I didn't have the chance to like shake it or like even know it existed. And I came downstairs Ooh. and there was an orange sled, brand new sled. What? Yeah. And it had a seat and it had brakes and it had the rope so I could pull it back up the hill. It had all the amenities you could get in oh the eighties. Yeah. <laughs> and I was so excited about this freaking sled. And I remember that um, it didn't snow for forever, like for like a month, it didn't snow. So I was riding it down the stairs. And for some reason, my parents let me because it was the 80s. So I was like sliding down the stairs and I'm pretending to like drive and stuff. Loved that sled. Boom. Whoa. Memory. That's a great one. Thanks. Wait, where, where, where did you live when you were younger? Massachusetts, like north of okay. Boston. Yeah. Okay. I was like, in Florida, in my brain, it wasn't processing snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I lived up north. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. I love that tree. It makes me so happy. It's beautiful. Thank you. I got it on it's... sale at Target. It was actually reasonable. Whoa. What about all the ornaments? Did you like make them? Did you buy them? I had most of them. Yeah, I made a lot of them. I made lemonade, like a popper one. And I cut out her picture and put it inside a clear ball. And then I cut a little bit of her fur and put it in the ornament. And people say that's creepy, but I think it's beautiful. I love that. No, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm definitely with you. I have like a paw print and, yep, a nose print even. Yeah. Oh, no, Summer says surprise gifts are the best. They sure are. Like when you have <laughs> no idea what's coming. Yeah, I hope my mom feels that magic. way because because I um because I um I spoiled her this year, so I hope she likes all her gifts. Mm-hmm. That's all mm-hmm. I'm gonna say because she's probably covertly watching this live stream right now. Ha-ha. Hi mom. <laughs> Hi Jennifer's mom. <laughs> so what's your favorite memory from childhood, holiday wise? So it was, I guess it wasn't that specific, but. I guess it is also kind of a tradition, but it's whenever we put up um, our tree and put up all of our ornaments that we made, like, as kids. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> and your parents keep those things. Yes. So, <laughs> um, probably doing that and just, like, we would put Christmas music on and we would have hot cocoa and it would take forever to put up the ornaments. But it was so much fun. That's a good memory. I have that same exact memory, too. Mm-hmm. Like, of all the ornaments we made through the years, and, like, they were, like, terrible, and your parents love them. Yeah. And it's, like, the macaroni art, too. Just, like, yes. how, how can macaroni stay okay for that long? <laughs> <laughs> Katie Powers says, what mm-hmm. is your favorite food at the holidays? For me right now, it's pie mm-hmm. and pumpkin pie or pumpkin pie, pie of any kind. I think I'm with you. But I like pie, but I don't like store-bought pies. I like the crust to be, like, crunchy. Oh, really? Do you make yeah. pies? Do you cook? Do you bake? I don't. I don't really. Except sugar I, cookies. <laughs> yeah, sugar cookies. Um, my friend bakes pies, and they're very good pies. 
Um, but I'm I know not a baker. You make really good knit hats like the one you made me. I do. Yes. Yeah. I mm -hmm. still got mine. It's my, it's my, I keep it by my bed. And when this is kind of like off topic, but like I have like that hair pulling thing. Mm -hmm. And whenever I like start pulling my hair, I put my hat on. It's like, it just stops me from pulling my hair and it's a comfort hat. Yeah. yeah. So it really helps me a lot. So it helps me more well, than you know. I am so glad. And it's orange and it's beautiful. And it's orange <laughs> and it's beautiful. Um, oh, I also wanted to say about that I released a song today too, since we're talking about new music. It's called Someone That I Know and it's about friendship. And oh. if you want to check it out, that one out. Someone. I can put a link, let's see, copy URL in the chat too. So there is mm -hmm. another link to someone that I know. Just in case you want to check it out, no pressure. Just yeah, give the old girl. algorithm a boost for it. For it. Give Good it a old follow. Distro kid. Yeah, the old distro kid algorithm. Um, yeah. So this is a portion of our show called Rapid Fire. Oof. But we answer questions really fast, and um, it's fun. And as you fast can't as we possibly too, can. Yeah, as fast as we possibly can, and you can't think too hard about it. Um, who wants to ask the questions today? Um, I'll ask the questions. Okay, I'm ready for it. Okay, you already kind of did this. So when you start decorating, what's the first thing you put up? The uh, light. Boring. <laughs> Boring. We have so we have this like Christmas countdown thing that's mm -hmm. almost always on our door year round. So that like stays up. So that's probably <laughs> the first thing. <laughs> and we'll start counting down like in two days. Two days or so. Okay. Are you a last minute shopper or do you plan ahead? Uh plan a header. All right. I'm gonna pause. I think we had a question. Yes, Noah had a question. It was about what is your favorite part of being a musician, Teresa? Ooh. Ooh. Um, we've talked about this briefly before, but I think just being an indie artist, you can do so many things yeah. and you're like, you're not limited and like, you can learn the drums in a month. You can, um, you know, learn a new DAW or a um, digi digital audio workstation. And yeah. Can release music whenever you can work with whoever yeah it's just very creative and I feel like it's limitless yeah that's how I feel like everyone's like well how many songs you wrote it's like I don't know I just write them all the time and then I just put them on Spotify and I sometimes I don't yeah. want to make a big deal I just release it and I'm like here it's there yeah, <laughs> yeah I swear yeah. every week it feels like you're releasing something new like yeah song today i was like what <laughs> no but yeah, yeah i'll definitely check that out okay what okay. real tree or fake tree real tree fake tree really you already put that in a poll what's a poll yeah i'm gonna make a poll you guys real tree or fake tree and you let us know we're gonna start a poll real so, uh can i change the answers yes real I say fake tree because it's less messy. Um, I don't think, even think I've had a real tree, so I don't know if I can really say. But fake. You've tree. never had a real tree, and you <laughs> live in, and you live in um, Colorado. I know no tree. Someone said no tree. That's the easiest route. I actually saw a really funny one yesterday where it was like turned upside down, and it was meant to look like a UFO was picking up a cow, and. It was hilarious, but it was a different take on a Christmas tree. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know how it tilt if you tilt it upside down, then the it's like a point and that's like where you get abducted from. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't me. I just saw it. This one's easy. Eggnog or hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Eggnog. <laughs> really? Yeah, so, and I actually didn't like eggnog for a really long time. I think I just drank it, like, sipped it once every year, and now yeah. I'm like, oh, I like it. It's, it's okay to me, 
But I don't like it when it has like nutmeg in it. I like it to be very plain, like it not has spices in it. Yeah. And I can only drink a Not little it. bit because who? If you drink a whole thing of eggnog, you're gonna be sad for the rest of Christmas. <laughs> that stuff is is intense. It's it's intense. It's potent. It, yeah, it's potent and has a lot of dairy in it <laughs> or yeah. eggs. Are you, or, are you lactose intolerant at all, or like have food allergies? Not really. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, my body will completely reject something, and I don't know why. Like, I could eat the same ice cream one day and be fine. And then the next time around, it's like, oh, my goodness, like, rejection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> both. both. I definitely do like both. But right now, I would say eggnog. Because <laughs> you have fine grown-up tastes. Yes. Such a grown-up. You're such an adult, Teresa. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Snow, snow angels, snow men, because snow angels get yeah, yeah. snow all down your pants and your jacket. That's true. I didn't think about that. Um, yep, yeah, snowmen. It's fun to to roll the balls. Yeah, and then like decorate his face. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah, and then when they melt, they kind of like melt in a funny way. Yeah, yeah. I love when they start to melt, and you never know how they're gonna look. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, finish this sentence. It's not the holidays without what? Family of friends. Oh, that's sweet. Mine is peppermint schnapp. <laughs> <laughs> I want to change my answer. I want to change my answer. It's not the holidays without Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. That's, <laughs> that's my answer. I like it. Have you heard it yet this season? No, I've managed to avoid it until now, but I'm sure it'll inundate me soon. Yeah. There's <laughs> something that somebody does here in Colorado. It's like a game, but you have to go the longest without hearing um, the <laughs> Wham! Christmas song. Oh, yeah. It's like you just have to go until the 24th of December without hearing it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you. <laughs> is that the one that's like last Christmas? Or yes, is that yes, that's what it's called. I yep. gave you my heart. Yeah. Very first day you <laughs> gave it away. Yep. This year. <laughs> I don't know why I know the words. Thank this. You. <laughs> we all know the words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Would you wait. rather get no presents or bad presents? I'd rather get yeah. bad presents. Bad presents. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite holiday food? Oh, we kind of said this, but. We kind of did say this, but pie and, um, or uh, I like rolls, <laughs> like oh, dinner yeah. rolls. Yeah, I like potatoes in in most forms and rolls. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Least favorite no. is um um least favorite is like collard greens or any kind of greens. Yeah, I would say like green bean casserole is not yeah. my favorite. <laughs> I want to like it. I really do. And I try it every time, but nah. can't get past the green beans. Nah, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bruh. <laughs> Someone says fake tree because where I live, my apartment doesn't allow real trees. I see. Uh, yeah, I feel like because if you get a real tree, you just have to like throw it away in the trash, right? Yeah, you put it outside, or if you live in the country, you just throw it in the backyard and have a bonfire. That works too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but oh, I have a, I said that, but I have a fake tree. So last time I got a real tree, I, it came with ants, and I was like, no, never again. What? Yeah, no. I had like ants in it, and I was like, I had to kill them all. So, oh. Yeah. That's not great. <laughs> Florida. Do you get your pet presents? Of course. Yes. And they even and wrap them and she opens them. Yeah, me too. We put <laughs> like treats in it so that she is more inclined to open yeah. it herself. <laughs> Lemonade will open it. She just knows it's something. And then it's like a toy and she's like, meh. <laughs> and goes back and oh. lays it. <laughs> what, does, what does Lemonade like? She likes food. Anything edible like food food oh. she's food driven she's not really play driven or attention driven well she likes attention but food is her love language okay yeah, yeah. what about persephone 
she's she's like she's older so she really likes beds and blankets and just warm things yeah especially when it gets cold out so. yeah i can see that i'm mm -hmm. i'm with her i'm her spirit i'm her spirit human <laughs> warm <laughs> things and comfy things i love this question what's your favorite christmas song they like a real tree or a fake tree. Sorry, I was reading a comment. Oh, Both. okay. Yeah. Um, my favorite Christmas song. Um, this is a really silly one, but it's one that I learned in um, elementary school. So it's like children sing it, but it's called Winter Fantasy. <laughs> I never heard it. Sing it, Teresa. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um. Olives on the fingers. Wait, pause. Kathy, uh, you are so right. I used to put olives on all my fingers and eat them, and my brother would tell on me to my mom. And I'm what? like, why are you such a narc, bro? <laughs> like, <laughs> what What kind of olives? Wait, black black olives? olives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'd have them on all my fingers. Yes. Thank you for that memory, Katie. Those are very good. I don't want to sing it. You have to listen to it. Fine. <laughs> because it's a children's choir. It's like, it's more endearing. Yeah. My favorite Christmas song is this one that goes, Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible say, Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. And that's like a reggae beat. Oh, I the angels sing, the king what? was born today, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Oh, that's my jam. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I think it's by like an old group. I don't know, but they used to play it all the time when I was a kid, and my dad loved it too. He reminds me of my dad, you know? Mm -hmm. So, good song. That is a great song. Yeah. You do have a Santa behind you. I do? Yeah. Oh, wait, I do. Yep. It's a Christmas Santa. Santa on the show. Of course it's a Christmas Santa. Yes. <laughs> it's a Christmas Santa as opposed to a, to a, um, um, I don't know. Are you there? Are you frozen? Or are you just staying really still? Teresa. Teresa, I think she's frozen, people. Oh, you know, you guys know that song by Boney M. Oh, I didn't know it was by Boney M. Oh, Bruce Springsteen's version of Santa Claus is coming to town. It's good, too. We lost Teresa. To, she froze. Hopefully, she'll come back. Oh, man. Teresa! She'll, there you are! Hi. Hi. Hello. You oh, yeah. Back. It did, yeah. It um, it was acting weird, and then it went poof. So, but I'm back now. Yay. So, yeah, everyone was saying they were, um, that they, like, Bruce Springsteen's version of Santa Claus is coming to town. I agree. That's a good one. Mm -hmm, mm hmm And the song I like, Mary's Boy Child, Kathy Korn said it's by Boney M. Good to know so I can find it on online. Yeah. So just catching you up. Thank you. <laughs> so, guys, this is what we call Talk O Tuesday. Not taco like the taco, but talk like talk on Tuesday. I don't know if we made that up first or not, but we're claiming it. We are claiming it. It's our show, and we try to do it every Tuesday unless Jennifer completely forgets. It's usually my fault. But <laughs> no. I we feel like we're pretty consistently doing it every other week. That's yeah. pretty good. And even mm -hmm. if we could do it every week, it's good, but if not, every other week. So be sure to subscribe to Teresa's channel, which is, I think you can find it. To, I'm going to put her I'm gonna put her channel link. What's your channel link, Teresa? It's my name, uh, Teresa Sudam. Oh, Mary, did you know is a great song, Margaret? That That's was a like, good song. I want to change my answer. <laughs> you can change it, 
That was the first song I sang, like when I started, when I first started singing in high school. At yeah. my first the concert, that was the song that I sang. It's beautiful. I love when we sing it at church too. Okay, Teresa Sudam. There, you, if you look that up, that will be her YouTube channel. She's working on growing it and putting her music on there. Yay. So, yay, jazz hands for that. <laughs> um, the Kenny and Dolly album. I love Dolly Parton. I might need to check that out. Oh, yeah, I'll have to check that out too. Yeah. All right, so we, we'll wrap it up, but um, thank you for joining us for the very first initial Taco Tuesday on YouTube. Thank you yeah. so much for being here. Thank you for participating in the conversation to the mm -hmm. audience. Thank you for answering questions with us and asking questions. I really appreciate it. I want this to be, like, very interactive and back and forth. So yeah. we appreciate and it. Makes us, it makes us less nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when you guys talk to us, it makes us less nervous. We were, I'm going to have to go back and edit out the first three minutes of this stream because that was <laughs> awkward. I don't want to end up being a meme or something. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time for Taco mm -hmm. Tuesday. Happy holidays coming. Happy day. Yeah. Happy December. Bye.